We're going to go ahead and wind up, pull my upper body with it. So nice and stable. You have to find kind of your rhythm, tempo, balance. Down, but hips open, eyes with it. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate, reset. Welcome back, Brian Newman here, Director of Instruction and Fitness. I'm joined by Jim Hackenberg, the inventor of the Orange Whip. Jimmy, how you doing? Great. All right, so we've got an awesome warm-up for you today that you can do on the range. It's just a couple swings, and we're going to be swinging the whip, so it's something you can feel comfortable on the tee at a tournament, around a lot of people. Yep. You, know, you don't have to feel like you got to get on the ground and crawl around. We're going to work on opening up the hips, getting those extremities, those wrists, forearms, shoulders loose. Um, we've got kind of a creative way to do this. We've got a couple GFX movements that'll help us. So all we need is the whip. Um, Jim and I are going to be on the peel and get some added benefits of that because we've got the stability and the uh, concave edges. So we're going to get a little bit more ankle work, a little bit more work in the hips and stay nice and stable. So are you ready to get this going? Ready. All right, so feet are together. We've got our first little movement here. We're going to start small. And my feet are together so I can really allow for some pivot in the torso and in the uh, in those hips, okay? So I'm tilted over in my golf posture and my setup, and here we go. Small swings. You can see that my lead arm and my trail arm are just getting to about parallel to the ground, but I'm making sure that I set a nice L-style position between that forearm and between that whip. So this is getting my wrist nice and loose as I create a little bit of pivot here. I start to feel some rotation, start to walk that weight from the right foot to the left foot. All right, so we got five of those. We're gonna go switch the hands to our non-dominant side, and we got the same thing. Starting out small. Really don't wanna rip into that rotation until we kinda get loose here, and really make sure that those small muscles in the wrists and shoulders are ready to roll. So we got five on that side. All right, there we go. So next move we've got, we call this Warrior One Swings, okay? So right-handed player, left foot goes forward, right foot drops back. All right, I'm going to go ahead and glide that lead knee over my shoelaces, okay? So you can see then I'm going to tilt my upper body forward. So this is emulating my golf posture position. I'm going to take my normal grip, and by maintaining that sternum pointing down towards the ground, I'm going to go ahead and perform five swings. Now what I want to do is I want to let the whip transfer my weight from my trail foot to my lead foot, but naturally this is going to start really opening up my hips. I'm going to have to work my balance, my ankles, and you can see that we've got some pretty full swings here as we're getting a little bit looser. So make sure you're getting that weight into that trail foot, into that lead foot, as you can see. All right, we're gonna switch. Left foot goes forward, right foot drops back. We're gonna go into a left-handed grip, which would be our non-dominant side. Ooh. Glide forward over that left leg there with the knee, and here we go, five swings. Getting that core nice and loose. So we still wanna feel that rotation. We're still trying to turn the upper body and turn the hips. It's a little tough, but we're doing that on purpose to get some nice stretch in those legs and go ahead and relax. All right, so five on one side, five on the other. We've got warrior two swing, so a little progression. Left foot forward, right foot back. We're gonna stomp on the edge of that peel or again, use the ground there. You can see I'm just outside of shoulder width. I'm gonna now again, pointing my toe forward, my left foot out. I'm gonna glide forward just as I did before and this is gonna give me a swinging lane in between my feet, as you can see here, all right? I'm gonna make sure that I transition back to that trail foot and then over all the way around into that hip on the lead side. Here we go, five of them. Normal grip. You can really feel getting in and out of those hips. And that core is working. I'm really feeling that stretch all through my midsection. Get and nice once and I loose. find my rhythm with it, I, I find my balance. At first, I'm a little wobbly, but once I find that rhythm, I'm, it's great balance. Yeah, and the whip is making sure that we're getting that weight moving, and we're still using those big muscles. But again, we're really kind of sneaking in some stretches here. All right, so we had the left foot forward there. We're going to switch the right foot's forward, left foot's back. We're going into our non-dominant grip. So for us, that's left-handed. All right, knees over the shoelaces. Here we go. Nice big turn. Shifting that weight, feeling that nice stretch. You can see my belt buckle still turning, my sternum still turning, and I'm still tilting that sternum down into my position. All right, last but not least, we've got Statues of Liberties. This is a dynamic movement. Let me show you what this is gonna look like. So we're in regular golf setup foundation here. 
I'm going to go back into a backswing and I'm going to reach, reach, reach. So I'm driving through, getting tall through that trail leg. And with both hands on the whip and my dominant side grip, I'm reaching that whip up, showing that Statue of Liberty up in the air. So just like Lady Liberty, that torch is up. That's going to give me a nice stretch through my midsection. I'm pushing up, up, up with that trail foot. Sternum is pointing out away from the target. From there, I'm going to transition by sitting back and down and feeling a little bit of rotation. As I do that, that's going to flatten that whip out and let it fall behind me. And from there, I'm going to drive through those hips, stand up nice and tall on that lead side, and finish the swing. All right, here's what it looks like. Reach, 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 reach. Sit and go. Good. And we're back. Reach, 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 reach. Good. Driving through that trail heel. Nice big reach. Sit. Go. And one more. So we're opening and closing those hips pushing the hips back and then extending through, getting those hip flexors nice and loose, really working on that sequence at the same time. All right, other Lift. side, non-dominant grip. This will be a little awkward, but it's going to be a nice stretch. Again, reach, 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 sit, and finish. Good. Reach, sit, finish. Make sure you get all the way through. And, and time. All right, so you can see five one side, five the other. That's 40 total swings, right? I'm breathing kind of heavy. Yeah, it's good stretch so, and warm up. Yeah, no question. Find your rhythm. Get your rhythm, get a nice feel. And you can also feel how we're working those hips, the core, oh, yeah. upper back. Well, it's exaggerated motion, which I like, because it gives you the full range. Right. And then what I like to finish up with before you grab your clubs and get ready to hit is you can go into our classic continuous swings, right? Doing about five, five or 10 of those maybe. So then you can find that normal golf swing feel. Yep. I also then like to grab that light speed after that, get my speed up, yep. right? Then I grab an iron and start to make a few practice swings. And from there, I'm hitting shots. As I work up to my driver, I like to grab the light speed before I get my driver in my hands on the range and really start to feel that sequence using the ground better. And then I'm ready to roll. Yeah, let so, it fly. Great pre-round. We're actually going to use this prior to doing our rhythm tempo balance training with our distance duo. You can do this prior to your light speed training, but it's going to make sure that that body's ready to go before we really start getting into our normal golf swing. Love so, it. Let's all go. Right, great job. We'll see you in the next video. Welcome back, folks. Brian Newman, Director of Instruction and Fitness here with the inventor of the Orange Whip, Jim Hackenberg. We've got some awesome part one of distance duo training, 30 swings with the Orange Whip. Working on today's skill, which one of my favorites I work on a lot, is weight shift and balance. Mm. So, um, Jim, you like this one a lot in terms of some things you work on with your own game. I know you like to feel the footwork and the loading in and out of the lower body to help you sequence and move the whip. Well, and they're fun and they're coordination drills that as you do them and progress, you get better at that movement. So I, that's why I like them because they're Yeah, so the drills are, they we're referring to these, these are fit skills. We're, sort of, we're combining the Golf Fitness X methodology of improving coordination and fitness at the same time, and our fit skills do just that. So these are fit skill exercises that will improve your swing skills as we improve the fitness needed to perform those skills. So if you take a lesson and you know you're working on coordination, uh, we've got to make sure the body comes along for the ride yep. and is able to perform those movements. So we've got some really cool drills where we're going to incorporate the benefits of the whip, the rhythm, tempo, and balance into these fit skill movements and uh, really improve your ability to shift your center which this, the weight shift and balance is, it's really where the bottom of your swing is. Yeah. And then it's really how to control your weight, to put your weight into the shot, right? And we've got, we've got rotary, lateral, and vertical movements of our pressure. And we've got to be able to control that, you know? So if, you know, if I'm a 150 pound guy and those tour players, those smaller guys who hit it so far, they're using their pressure and getting heavier and then creating all of this launch and push so if you want to hit it further and you want to find the bottom of your swing more consistently, do this weight shift and balance, incorporate it with the whip, and then part two, you'll see us speed it up here. Whoa. So three movements, and we've got, Jim is on the power peel. Again, you can use just the whip to do this, or if you don't have the whip, you can use a driver with the head cover on it, but the benefits of the whip, obviously, we just spoke about. Uh, Jim's on the, the peel, so he's going to take it up a level where working weight shift and balance, I love the peel because you've got some slope to it. So you're gonna be able to really feel where your center of gravity is. Yeah. Yeah. Push so, it up. 
So I'm going to go to the next level and I'm going to actually use the power peel attachments. And for me personally, I really like to feel this pressure shift a lot. So I'm going to connect peel position two, pull it across here. I've got my belt on to belt position purple. And then I've got peel position one. And bring that over here to belt position blue. All right, so we all know, I mean, we've heard before that I need to shift my weight to my forward side. Yep. But there's incorrect ways to do it. I can do it too early and get stuck. So you can see I've left my upper body there. And you can see that I really don't even have any, any pressure or force. So what I love about these bands, they're in front of me, I'm gonna use that peel and really feel that push down and get heavy as we create those movements. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna actually pop off the peel for our last move today. But our first two, here we go. We got two step swings, feet are together. We're gonna go ahead and step, step, swing, finish, gather it at the bottom, step, step, and swing. You can hear the cadence. We're loading right, stomping left, and finishing. So a lot of pressure shift. You'll feel that nice sound. I'm gonna let the whip come back, gather. You can really feel I'm stomping down. To create that stomp, gotta load. All right, so if you're struggling with this movement, slow it down and just start stepping those feet. And as you get better, you can increase that step stomp and finish. So I really like that speed. You can really feel get going. Oh man, but it's a better. cool coordination drill too. I love the just the footwork, the placement, but it also you can feel how your body weight adjusts to. Absolutely, I, you can't push down and down unless you're moving your pressure right. Yeah. So you can really feel how to use your legs and your lower body that we all want to do. All right, Bubba swings. Just how it sounds. We're gonna go up to the top, lift that lead foot. We're gonna go down and push up. We're really gonna try to feel like that lead foot is gonna come off the ground. If you can get it off the ground, do it safely. But that's that Bubba swing movement where we're gonna create enough ground force to feel ourselves come out of the basement and go through the roof. Yeah, right? love it. All right, here we go. Up, down, good. You can get continuous here. You can't go up unless you go down. And you can't swing the whip unless it's timed up. That was a good one. Nice. And last one. And relax. Whew. You gotta love those. <laughs> I tell you what though, just by doing that 10 motions, by the time you start getting eight, nine, 10, you can really start feeling how to maximize that because your body's understanding where's the whip, how efficient is it, how much force did I create? It's instant feedback by yourself. Well, it's, it feels like I'm just hurling it and whipping it with my whole body and my footwork. It's awesome. I'm exploding off the ground. Yeah, it's a jump, lower body. It's a sequence. I'm using the ground, yep. ground pushes back, tons of power. But what I love about it, if you do that with a club, you're not aware, you can really maybe create some bad habits, but the whip's going to help you ingrain a lot of other really good things as you create that. You got to do it with timing, swing yep. on plane, all that stuff with balance, right? Yep. And the peel, the bands, next level. So jump in there. We got last move. It's our finishing move. So fitting, it's our super finish. Yeah, I love it. All right, so watch this. Make sure you're safe. Make sure nobody's behind you. All right, so how this is going to look. My feet are together. I'm going to step and load into that trail foot, step and load lead, and then just as it sounds, I'm going to super finish over that lead foot. So we're really transitioning the weight shift into the trail foot, the lead foot, and then really getting it moving. Here we go. So you can really feel load. Love that feel. Nice. Keep it up. Oh, man, really it really builds up the end. I love it too. Yep. Oh, I think it helps the transition greatly too. Absolutely. Because you've got to be loaded in that trail foot. To yeah, transition. you could do it. You can't lift that lead foot. So if you don't load, if you don't get loaded up in that trail side, you can't complete that movement. Load, step, and finish. Let's go one more. Beautiful. That's a wonderful one. That's a super finish. No question. What I love about it is I'm turning to do that, but 
I'm not turning out of my posture mm -mm. or I wouldn't be able to do it properly. Nope. he would so, go forward that way, you'd fall over. Yeah, so there's so many things. I'm, my weight is in balance, but I'm also turning as I'm in that nice posture position to be able to swing that whip continuously like that. Um, so again, we're just stacking up the improvements as we do this. So lots of fun with that one. Love weight shift and balance. Really good power source. Again, that was 30 swings. Part two of the distance duo coming at you next, where we're gonna take these same movements. We're gonna have some fun here in that light speed go really fast. Whoosh. So you're gonna create these feels, create this training. We're practicing and training at the same time. Which is great. We're breathing a little hard, right? We're getting those fitness. We're, our bodies are getting better. Our swings are getting better. And we're able to then grab a club and just swing it. Yep. Swing your own swing and see the efficiencies get better as we check the box. Well, they say let it go, and these are drills that'll help you let it go, so I love that. I'm ready to hit balls. <laughs> I'm pumped up. I'm ready for some light speed and then to hit some drivers. So, all right, we'll see you in the next video. Great job. Welcome back to another GFX on the range swing skill speed rounds. We've got 60 swings that are going to improve your weight shift and balance skill. So if you have sh problems hanging back, if you have problems balancing through the golf swing or moving your center of gravity, ensuring that you have a consistent bottom, we're gonna fix that for you here and we're gonna add speed while we do it. We've got three fit skill movements that are gonna help with your coordination. We're gonna speed those up with the light speed, allowing you to have the proper sequence while performing those movements. I'm gonna do them with you, cue them. We're gonna get this thing started. First movement we have is gonna be our two step swing. So what this is gonna look like, set up foundation, feet together. I'm gonna hop to the right, loading into that right side. And as I do that, I'm gonna load into that backswing. From there, I'm then gonna plant that left side and finish. It's gonna look like this. So you can see, jump, jump, go. Load into that right side. All the way through, we got 10. Soft in the hands and arms. Moving that center of gravity to create load. Sticking the finish for balance. Three more. Drive off that trail side. Stomp those feet into the ground. We've got our super finished swings. It's gonna load us into our heels, over rotate those hips and move that center of gravity. All right, from here at address position, we're gonna step back, loading into that trail hip and trail heel. After I do that, I'm gonna step back again. You can see then I'm gonna load into that lead side and finish. Make sure you've got some room behind you. Here we go. Should be able to get a lot of speed. Recentering the body, loading that weight into the proper portions of my hips and legs. Good, hips are moving nailing that weight shift using the heels to help me load those hips can really feel the speed in this one couple more keep it going weight shift and balance can really feel my coil unload as I step that lead hip behind me Two more. And last one. You can see I'm really having to create a super finish or an overdone finish because I've really let those hips get out of the way as I get through to that finish. Last one we got, Bubba swings. Here we go. Set up foundation, full back swing. I'm going to load that weight, shift that center, launch off the ground, get that trail and lead foot up off the ground as much as possible using that weight shift and pressure to create that. Here's our bubble swings, let's go. I've got to load and explode. Try to get those feet off the ground. Got to do it at the bottom. Again, load and launch. A couple more. Can you stick the landing? A couple more, lots of speed. Good. 
Whew, moving quick. Bubba swings there, jumping off the ground, rotating through that. You gotta create that proper weight shift and pressure movement, and then we're coming up and out of it. That is an awesome one for sequence and speed while working our skill of weight shift and balance. I'm breathing heavy. We're gonna take just a second. We're getting ready to roll back into our second round. Here we go. Back to our two-step. You know the moves now, let's go. Load and explode. Use the ground all the way through. Back swing, plant, and go. One more. Good job. Back into our super finish. Get some room. Back swing, forward swing. Here we go. Step load, step load, and finish. Love that. Load that hip and heel. Do it on the other side, super finish. That's why we call it that. Here we go. I'm over rotated towards where my target would be because I've moved my weight shift and balance all the way through with some speed. We're teaching you how to recenter your center of gravity, mass and pressure while you maintain your balance. Dynamic, adding speed. Speed rounds, baby. That's what we like to see. Last move, Bubba swings. Can you get off the ground here? Load, explode, use your center. Here we go. Woo! Lots of speed. Couple more. Got to go down before we go up. It's going to make that light speed load and unload. Couple more. Last one. Time. Weight shift and balance. Where's your pressure? We're creating more force using the light speed to ensure the sequence is proper. If this thing isn't making noise, go back, watch the movements, work on them, okay? Do the workouts, add the speed. Great job, see you next time.